welcome back to the Metal Voice. All hey, the way. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Farwin guitarist, Gus G, a solo artist, a guitarist extraordinaire. We'll shout out. <laughs> where, okay, Gus, where are you right now? Uh, I am in France right now. Uh, mm -hmm. We are playing um, in a city called Savigny le Temple, which is right outside Paris. And I'm sitting on the tour bus. I'm at the front lounge of the bus. Finished uh, sound check, and the show is uh, in a few hours from now. Do you speak a little French? Do you not? Uh, no, I don't. I can only say merci. <laughs> well, that's good. It's good. That's good to do right after the show, yeah. right? Merci beaucoup tout le monde. That's it. Merci beaucoup. That's all. That's good. That's good. All right. So also, the new album, Hasbro, released two great reviews. The Firewind Stand United. It was out on March the 1st. Just, just released a lot of good, positive critique about it. Maybe you want to just quickly give your feedback on what you've been hearing yeah. so far. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. The album came out last Friday, March 1st. Um, you're right. It, it's uh, the, the, the reviews of feedback so far is incredible. Um Honestly, I mean, you know, we've been doing it for quite a quite a while now. It's the tenth studio album, so I I, I don't know what to expect anymore, and um, I, I don't know what it means if you have better or worse reviews. But it's an indication. But the the feedback from both from both from press and our fans so far is incredible, and we we're playing a lot of new songs on the set, and they go all the new songs go down so well. So I'm happy, you know. We put a lot of work into it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy for you guys too. Um, so right now you're in France, and just tell me a few more dates that are coming up. Any other countries in Europe? Right, right. Yeah, we're doing. Uh, we, we'll be all over Europe uh, until March 24th. Um, you know, we just did Germany and Holland. We are gonna do ooh, where else? Austria, Slovakia. Uh, we're gonna go to Spain. And then Scandinavia a little bit. We're gonna play four shows in Sweden, two in Norway, Good. Good. and then we're uh, you know crossing the pond. <laughs> we're going North over America, to uh, yeah. a lot North of US America. States, yeah, that's nice. Cool. We're, yeah, we have the U.S. tour. Yeah, so it's it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a tour that's gonna take us all the way to the end of May. After America, we go to Japan. So nice. everything is lined up very nicely. You know, it's just a little bit of a, a nightmare to get all the visas together, but we're getting there. <laughs> I remember last time in North America, there was some issues, but. Oh, yeah. But, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but we did it. So Farwind's doing Europe and they're going to North America and all the dates you could find it on what Farwind uh, website? Uh, Firewind.gr or on our bandsintown.com mm -hmm. page, you know, bandsintown.com slash firewind. All because I'm saying I'm mentioning this because that's where all the dates and all the direct ticket links are there. So people that want to come out and see us, they can go there. So um yeah. All right, cool. Also, the big news, like actually for me, it's big news, right? Yeah. I just I texted me, you maybe me like too. <laughs> 10 minutes ago, I texted you. <laughs> yes. I go, no way. So you posted on social media that you, you revealed on social media to the masses, we'll say, that you played lead guitar on Etern if he, uh, Eternity Has Failed on Bruce yeah. Dickinson's uh, new solo album, The Mandrake Project. So I, I, I'll talk to you a little. I go, Gus, we got to talk about this. So I go, yes. you go, all right, man, I'm on a van. Just call me, okay? <laughs> so here we are. So, I mean, how did it come about? Like, now that you um, can talk about it. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, you know, this came through uh, my friend Roy Z, who's Bruce's right hand man for yeah, many, many yeah. years, and uh, you know, he's his producer, and they co-write together. And everybody knows who Roy Z is and his how important he has been to heavy metal world. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you know, I've known Roy for a long time. I've known him for twenty years. I worked with Roy before on Rob Rock's album. Um, nice. anyway, so we've kept in touch. We have actually toured together before as well. He was in Halford's band and they yes. were, uh, out on tour with Ozzy when I was in Ozzy. So we've toured together anyways. So Roy, no, it's good to have good. some background. That's cool. Yeah. Right. J j just to give the background that, you know, because me and Roy are friends and go way back. And, um, and I knew he was working on this Bruce album for a long time. And, uh, at one point he reached out and said, dude, I have this, you know, we're doing this song and I would love to have you on there to do like a guest thing and we can like trade leads. And I'm like, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, and, uh, 
Actually, I recorded the solo about a year ago. Wow. Actually. So it's yeah. been, it's been a while, you know, that I, I I did the tracking and I was actually on tour at the same at that time as well. I was on a like here now on a bus, you know. I, it was a day we were on tour with um Beast in Black at this time last year. Yeah. And it was during a day off that I I went into a hotel room and set up a small home studio and uh Roy sent the track over and I just did my lead guitars there and I sent them the tracks back and um and then I didn't hear anything for months. You know, that's that's how that's how it usually goes. You do a session and then you don't hear anything for months. <laughs> I, I should plug this. I should plug this as we're as yes. we're talking. There we go. Yeah. Roy Z, Bruce Dickinson, and uh yeah. guest appearance by Gus G. Go ahead. Yeah. So yeah, man, and it's a great album. I, I didn't. I, the thing is, I didn't hear the final thing until it came out a couple of days ago as well. Were you pleased? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, the production is album. incredible. It's a great album. Love the production. Love. Well, there's like so many layers, so many things to it. Bruce's singing is, man, top notch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, that song, you know, and I heard it and there's like all these, it's a long solo part. It's about two minutes long. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we trade leads with uh, Roy and I'm playing a lot of the backing melodies as well during the solo section. And then there's like a keyboard lead by Mysteria. Yeah. So it's cool it's it's epic it's an epic track I'm, I'm i'm honored to be part of it you know gus i think this track is actually so for everybody who doesn't know this was written for bruce's solo album originally then iron maiden sort of made it their own little version and now it's back as a solo piece for bruce did you listen to the original and saying you know i want to keep this or like did you listen to the original solo and say i want to preserve a little bit of this or i want to make it my own or what did Roy Z tell um, you? What's the direction he gave you on this? Yeah, yeah. Well, he he told me about he he just wanted me to be me, I guess. And uh, I just did a. I sent him a bunch of stuff, and I said to him, kind of like keep what you like, and then replace what you don't like, or what maybe I overstepped in somebody else's parts because he did not specify who was going to play what. I think he just wanted me to lay the foundation on the whole thing, and I did keep the original melody that it's even on the Maiden track. There's like this melody when the when the beat changes and stuff, and I did all that. That I kept as Maiden did it, um, and then I went off and I I added my own parts. You know, there's like some ad libs here and there, and then then I did my thing. You know, um, and then Roy basically added leads over that kind of melody foundation. Um, so you know, there was no specific stuff. He just wanted me to just do a lot of stuff, and then. He uh, went in and did his production magic, you know? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, I like this version a lot better than... Not to say I don't like the Maiden version, but I just like this one a lot better. And and when I found out that you played on it, I go, mm, makes sense. It it's makes slower. Sense. The tempo is slower and the heavier. Bit, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And I think, yeah, that was the original way they had it. And then, of course, Maiden did it the Maiden way. So, yeah, it's Which a great, great track. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing, the thing is, a good song is a good song no matter how you you can do many versions of it you know and and if it's a good composition there's yeah. you know that's all there is to it well you know what uh congratulations i'm really happy Thank for you. you you know i think you you deserve more of this stuff like you know the epic stuff right not yeah, to say yeah, yeah. what you're doing is not great it's great i'm just saying i love when you do kind of <laughs> stuff like this man. okay all right on tour Firewind's on tour in Europe, then going to North America. Everything is on uh, firewind.gr, right? The website yep, for all the dates and the yep. tickets. Uh, the new album, Stand United, is out now. It was released just a few days ago. Excellent album. I love it. Thank you. Uh, and congratulations on everything once again. And you know what? Enjoy your uh, your your show tonight in France. What city? In, in France, Avenue La Temple. All right, guys. Have yourself a wonderful day. All right. Thanks, Gus. Thank you, Jimmy. Have a good one.